Here we are, Panau Island, Southeast Asia's best kept secret. The old president was assassinated by the new president, Pandak Panay. Hi, this is Mark Walton for GameSpot, and we're here with Peter Hansen, a lead designer of Just Cause 2. So, Peter, can you tell us a little bit uh, about the game? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, Just Cause 2 is basically what it's about. It's about having really fun in this huge playground that is Panau. So, uh, it's all about freedom, and it's about insane stunts, and it's about, yeah, like I said, having a lot of fun. Did you ever think you'd go too far with the game? Yeah, well, there, there are times when we sort of, a few ideas that we had, and when we first thought of them, we basically just, oh man, can we really do that? But yeah, when, then we started playing around with it a bit, and then, yeah, we need to do it because it's just fun. So yeah, but I think it's important. It's still part of what Just Cause is. Uh, it's about, you know, uh, playing around a lot in, with these crazy stunts that you have. So, I mean, it's, it's important to find your own sort of direction in this genre, so. So can you tell us some of the differences between the original game and the sequel? Yeah, well, we all felt like that the original game was basically a sequel waiting to be made. So that's where we started, you know, started analyzing what we needed to improve for the sequel. And I guess we pretty soon identified three areas, which was basically, I mean, we needed to make the board game world filled with more stuff for you to do. Uh, we wanted to improve combat a lot. So we basically redone, rewritten the, the AI, improved combat so it's more tactical and more challenging. Do you tell us about some of the stunts that are featured in the game? Yeah, I mean, your, your main tools for the stunts are, are the grappling hook and, and the parachutes. And you had those in the first game, but the grappling hook was kind of limited. You had to equip it before you could use it. And now it's, it's sort of permanently attached to your left arm. So you can, it has its own button, so you can use it at any time. And it attaches to anything. So you can just, you can use it to reel around, reel, reel into objects. Uh, you can use it to sort of, um, you pull guys down from guard towers, and you can use the dual hook, what we call dual hook. You can tether any two objects together, um, two enemies together, for example, smash them together. You can sort of drag enemies behind vehicles. You can lift stuff with the helicopter. So it's basically up to you. You can experiment a lot with it. So there are no predetermined grapple points, and that sort of gives you a lot of freedom to play around with it. Uh, one of the things that um, I've heard about Just Cause is you're trying to make it a, quite a cinematic game, yet it's an open world adventure. How do you balance the two things? I mean, that's challenging. I mean, we have this huge game world and we want to give a lot of freedom to the player. And uh, that, I think, a lot comes down to what we call the chaos system. So the chaos is like a currency for you to, that controls the progression throughout the game. So we have a linear story, but it's told and you it's told through this chaos system. So when you cause chaos, you, you gain influence in, over the world and you sort of provoke certain reactions in this game world, and that unlocks new agency missions, which are the linear, the, the sort of story, the, the missions that, that um, tell the story. And so by causing chaos, you unlock those, and then we can leave, give the player a lot of freedom to cause this chaos in any way he wants. So that's basically how it, how it works. So just how big is the game? How long will people be able to play it for? Well, it's huge, I can tell you. There are a lot of things to do. I mean, that was one of the main, main, main areas we wanted to improve, like I said. So. There's a lot for you to do. I mean, if you're just going to play through the, the story, I guess it's probably going to take you like 20 hours or so, 15 to 20 hours the first time, but you're gonna get, not going to be near sort of completing everything. So I, there's easily over 100 hours of gameplay if you want to sort of exp experience everything, unlock everything, and sort of... Um, so you have a lot of stuff to do in the game, yeah. Uh, are, there, are there any plans to extend that with DLC? There's going to be some DLC, yeah. We, I mean, unfortunately, I can't talk about that at the moment, but we have some fun DLC that you're going to get when you, if you pre-order the game, some pre-order bonuses, which is some, some cool vehicles, some really cool weapons and stuff. But there are more coming in the future. There's no multiplayer in the game. Is this something you ever considered for it? Yeah, I mean, we considered it, but it, it's really important for us to really develop the, the best core single-player experience that we could, because there was so much we wanted to improve from, from the first game. And I think if you're gonna do multiplayer, I mean, you really need to do it, to get it exactly right. Otherwise, people are gonna try it out and then just move, move on to, to other multiplayer games. And there's gonna be a lot of wasted resources on that. So we wanted to put those resources into really making the, good, the best single player experience that we could. So uh, that was our main concern this time around. What do you think is going to keep people playing the game? What's going to suck them into playing into the Just Cause 2 universe? I mean, there's so much for you to do, and it's, every time you play it, it's going to be different. I mean, people in the office keep having different stories. Oh, I did that, and I did that. Have you tried that? And so a lot of emergent stuff just keeps happening when you play it, and I think that's what's going to get you to, to, to keep playing it. If you could sum up Just Cause 2 in uh, one sentence for us, if you, to someone who's a non-gamer, how would you do it? Oh, uh, yeah, I would say... Um, Lots of action and a little bit insane, actually. <laughs>
uh, and a lot of fun. Cool. And when's the game out? Uh, the 26th of March. March. Great, thanks for your time. Thanks. Thank you.